Hello. I am Dr. Cosmo. What I am about to explain is called TAW Fractal Phenomenology. TAW. Who created this, you ask? We'll call an NJ. I will explain more about NJ later. Now, what exactly does TAW entail? You can say that TAW is the hub of all fields of study. In other words, it's the foundation. What would happen if the foundation of all of your research was incorrect? Then, everything would progress incorrectly. You may still manage to progress to a certain degree. However, if the foundation is incorrect, you will surely come to a point of impasse. This is like someone who has no concept of an ocean, and mistakes a lake to be an ocean. If you think about it, a lake and an ocean are two completely different things. They have different physical characteristics and have different ecosystems. However, if one doesn't know the concept of an ocean, then he'll never find out that he is watching only a lake. This is why, once you understand TAW, you will begin to see that modern science will be fundamentally overturned. It will surely begin to rock its foundation and give way to a brand new logic. Much like shifting from a lake to an ocean. Wouldn't that be exciting to be able to change the foundation of modern science? Okay then, let me dive into what TAW is. As I mentioned before, TAW is a theory that does not choose the direction of time flow. Of course, this was not so obvious to MJ in the beginning. As MJ continued a particular research, he hit a standstill in a certain conundrum. As he continued to solve this puzzle, he began to realize the secret to time and space. I'd like to explain this a step at a time. It may become a bit lengthy, but please bear with me. First of all, let me explain the story of how TAW came to be. It was in the year 1991, the day MJ came across a TV documentary about the controversy between Einstein and quantum physics. In the documentary, he saw Einstein say the following. God does not play dice with the universe. These are famous words of Einstein. As a scientist you probably are already familiar with these words. The words, playing dice means by chance. According to quantum physics, it is said that there exists a will in the function of electrons. Einstein never imagined that something as vague as a will, or intention, could determine the course of electrons, and govern its every movement. The reason is because there are no rules for intent or will, and this is what he means when he says playing dice. It was in this moment that MJ had a realization. Everyone believes that there are no physical laws or logic when it comes to will or consciousness. However, what if there was a rule or law to consciousness? MJ was trying to find a way to theorize consciousness, and in order to achieve this, he began to concentrate on historical events. He began to thoroughly study the history of Europe, North America, and East Asia. He had concentrated so much on his research that his mind was completely filled with history. He was able to mentally visualize the movements of historical people and began to create patterns from their actions. Can you guess what is meant by creating patterns of people's actions? For example, let's take various sports such as basketball, soccer, tennis, golf, and table tennis. Out of these, tennis, golf, and table tennis all operate in a similar fashion. You hit a ball with a handheld instrument. Basketball and soccer, on the other hand, do not have such an action. Furthermore, in addition to using a handheld instrument, the movements for table tennis and tennis are very similar. Golf, on the other hand, does not use the same kind of action or motion. In other words, the action pattern of table tennis and tennis is, hold instrument, ball moves towards you, hit ball with instrument, and prepare for next approaching ball. In this way, MJ created patterns from the actions of various historical figures and began to categorize time periods and events. Then, after two years of research, MJ made a big discovery in history. His discovery was that history was moving along according to some kind of law or principle. Within history, MJ discovered there exists a concept called fractals. Using the earlier example as an analogy, tennis and table tennis are fractals. The only difference is in size. You can see similar patterns of fractals within history. Fractal is the key to unlocking the secrets of time and space.